did. I'd like to call the meeting to order for the Voorhees Township Committee meeting of June 12th, 2023, our regular meeting at 7 p.m. If everyone could please stand for the flag salute. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can we have a roll call, please? Mrs. Bethlehem? Present. Um, Mr. Rabbit? Here. Mrs. Cito? Here. This meeting is being held in accordance with the requirements of the Open Public Meetings Act. Two notices this meeting has been published by the clerk in both the Courier Post and Inquirer newspapers, as well as electronic notices required by law. Also, the copy of annual meeting notice has been posted on the bulletin board outside the Township Clerk's Office. Hi, everyone. Good evening. We're going to start off a little bit differently tonight. Um, I, uh, on behalf of the mayor and the rest of the committee, the mayor is, uh, extends his apologies. He's actually welcoming uh, grandchild into the world tonight, so he's sorry to miss this. Uh, so on behalf of the mayor and township committee, I'd like to introduce Detective Tomasco, whose resignation we will proudly yet sadly accept tonight, this evening. He began his 25-year career in law enforcement in the Gloucester County Sheriff's Department after serving in the United States Navy. He is currently a detective in our Voorhees Police Department, where he's educated his fellow police officers in serving members of our community with spectrum disorder and their parents as well, um, the utmost importance of which and his passion about arose from his own experience and home life, making him such a valued resource for police officers across South Jersey. Tonight we are very pleased to host the Knights of Columbus here to honor Detective Tomasco on this special evening. And I'll ask you to come on up. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. Uh, my name is Brandon Swell. I'm the faithful navigator from uh, St. John Paul II Assembly here in Gibbs Row and Um First, I would like to thank the mayor and council for having us here this evening. I'd also like to thank the Voorhees Police Department for working with us uh, on this. Uh, for those that don't know, the uh, Knights of Columbus is the world's largest Catholic fraternal organization, uh, having approximately 2 million members across uh, approximately 10 countries. Um, mm -hmm. As she had said, uh, we're honoring this year, we're honoring uh, we're here to present Officer of the Year Award. Uh, this year's recipient is Detective Christopher Tomasco. Um, as uh, she had mentioned, uh, 25 years as a police officer, a Navy veteran, and uh, all kinds of community outreach. Chris, it is my honor and pleasure to present you with the 2022-2023 Officer of the Year Award from the Knights of Columbus Assembly St. John Paul II. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, real quick, uh, this will be really brief. I actually don't have anything uh, prepared, but uh, one thing I really want to do is thank everybody. It's very humbling, and uh, I'm sure there are probably other people more deserving, but I really do appreciate that. One thing I want to say is uh, I have my son here, Tyler. Tyler's sitting right there. Uh, Tyler is on the spectrum. And I will say that all the classroom work that I have uh, gotten throughout the years on the uh, subject of autism, I learned more from my son than I did throughout that whole uh, classroom experience. So I really uh, appreciate this. And on behalf of anyone who's on uh, the autism spectrum disorder, I really do appreciate it. Thank you.
Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, with that, Deputy Mayor, we do have um, some second reading ordinances to get to. So, the first is second reading an ordinance, a bond ordinance authorizing the acquisition of certain real property in and for the Township of Voorhees, County of Camden, New Jersey, appropriating the sum of $30,000, therefore, authorizing the issuance of general obligation bonds or bond anticipation notes of the Township of Voorhees, County of Camden, New Jersey, and the aggregate principal amount of up to $28,500, making certain determinations and covenants and authorizing certain related actions in connection with the foregoing. As this is a second reading of an ordinance, we need a motion to open the floor to the public. Motion to open. Second. Seeing no one, move to close public portion. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 And then we need a motion to approve the ordinance. Motion. I'll make a motion to approve the ordinance. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Oh, I'm sorry, that, that would be a roll call. Mr. Pepperoy? Yes. Mr. Platt? Mr. Platt? Yes. Mr. Rabbits? Yes. Mrs. Cito? Yes. Then we have second reading of a bond ordinance authorizing the acquisition of vehicles and equipment for the Township of Voorhees County of Camden, New Jersey, appropriating the sum of $2,346,000, therefore authorizing the issuance of general obligation bonds or bond anticipation notes at the Township of Voorhees County of Camden, New Jersey, in the aggregate principal amount of up to $2,228,700, making certain determinations and covenants and authorizing certain related actions in connection with the foregoing. As this is a second reading of an ordinance, we need to open the floor to the public. Motion to open. Seeing no one, motion to close. Give me a second. Oh, second. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we don't usually do that. <laughs> oh. All, right. All in All favor of closing. Yes. Aye. And then we need a motion. Motion, motion on the bond ordinance. Second. Ms. Fedroy? Yes. Mr. Platt? Yes. Mr. Rabbits? Yes. Mrs. Yes. Seal? Yes. Then we have a bond ordinance authorizing the completion of improvements to various township buildings and grounds, appropriating the sum of $1,250,000, therefore authorizing the issuance of a general obligation bonds or bond anticipation notes of the Township of Voorhees County of Camden, New Jersey, in the aggregate principal amount of up to $1,187,500, making certain determinations and covenants and authorizing certain related actions in connection with the foregoing. And we need a motion to open the floor for this second reading. Motion. motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Seeing no one, move to close public portion. Second. Roll call vote, please. Well, we have to we have made a motion and a second to uh, now approve. Motion to approve. Second. <laughs> and now we'll roll call. Mrs. Beverly? Yes. Mr. Platt? Mr. Platt? Mr. Platt? Yes. Mr. Rabbits? Yes. Mrs. Cito? Yes. We have a bond ordinance authorizing the completion of various road and related improvements in the Township of Voorhees, County of Camden, New Jersey, appropriating the sum of $2,425,000, therefore authorizing the issuance of general obligation bonds or bond anticipation notes of the Township of Voorhees, County of Camden, New Jersey, in the aggregate principal amount of up to $2,303,750, making certain determination and covenants, and authorizing certain related actions in connection with the foregoing. Motion to open the floor. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Seeing no one move to close public. Second. Aye. All in favor? Aye. <laughs> now a motion to approve the rest of the ordinance. Motion to approve. Second. And then a roll call. Mrs. Fevroy? Yes. Mr. Platt? Yes. Mrs. Zito? Yes. Mr. Rabbits? Yes. Uh, bond ordinance authorizing various improvements to the sewer utility system for the Township of Voorhees County of Camden, New Jersey, appropriating the sum of $630,000, therefore, authorizing the issuance of general obligation bonds or bond anticipation notes to the Township of Voorhees County of Camden, New Jersey, in the aggregate principal amount of up to $598,500, making certain determinations and covenants, and authorizing certain related actions in connection with the foregoing. Everybody? Motion to open to the public. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to close the floor. Motion. Second. 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 And then all in favor? Aye. Aye. Now we need a motion to approve. Motion to approve the ordinance. Second. And then a roll call. Second. And then we need a roll call. Mrs. Beproy? <laughs> yes. Mr. Platt? Mr. Platt? Yes. Mr. Rabbits? Yes. Mrs. Cito? Yes. All right. Now we're. We're, th we're through the woods there. So now we have a first reading of an ordinance. <laughs> ordinance to amend and supplement. We're missing our fearless leader tonight, yes. and we put Chris in the very uncomfortable situation. And I situation. can't make the motion to open it previously, <laughs> though, so it's been a little, it's a bit a little haywire. So forgive our awkwardness this evening. <laughs> 
Sorry, or, first or, ordinance to amend and supplement ordinance number 387-21, more specifically the code of the Township of Voorhees, Title III, Administration Chapter 34, entitled Finance and Taxation, Section 34.51, Cannabis Municipal Tax, to require cannabis municipal tax payments be made quarterly and directly to the Township of Voorhees. Motion to approve. Second. So, and then all in favor? Aye. Any nays? So it carries. Um, then we'll open the floor for public comment on resolutions only. Seeing no one moves to close public portion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? And then we have our resolutions this evening. Resolution 167-23, memorializing executive session for the meeting of May 22nd, 2023. Resolution number 168-23, amending records of the tax collector. Resolution number 169-23, approving the insertion of an item of revenue, New Jersey Stormwater Assistance Grant, $25,000. Resolution number 170-23, approving an insertion of an item of revenue, New Jersey Clean Communities Grant, $72,294.34. Resolution number 171-23, authorizing submission of applications for state transportation funds under the Safe Roads to, Trans to, Safe Roads to Transit for the Whitehorse Road Phase 4 Pedestrian Improvements Project. Resolution 172-23, authorizing submissions of applications for state transportation trust funds under the local bikeway program for the extension of the Voorhees Township Bicycle Network through Mariota Sports Complex, Blue Coat Court, and Buttonwood Road. Resolution number 173-23, authorizing submission of a grant application and execute a grant agreement with the New Jersey Department of Transportation for the Centennial Boulevard Phase 1 project. Resolution number 174-23, Authorizing submission of a grant application for the DMHIS Youth Leadership Grant, $12,000, Berlin Gibbsboro Voorhees Grant. Resolution number 175 23, authorizing the award of a bid to Munn Roofing Corp for the Cooper Road Fire Station Roof Repair Project. Resolution number 176 23, approving change order number one in the amount of $12,988 for the Mariota Park Improvements Project. Resolution number 177 23, awarding an RFP for grant writing services to Millennium. Millennium Strategies, Resolution Number 178-23, approving the maintenance bond for the Jan Julia Field Lacrosse Wall. Resolution Number 179-23, approving 2023-2024 liquor license renewals. Resolution Number 180-23, appointing Alexander Davidson to the position of Chief Financial Officer in the Voorhees Township Finance Department. Resolution Number 181-23, appointing Anthony Morella to the position of Part-Time Omnibus Operator in the Voorhees Township Department of Public Works. Resolution number 182-23, appointing Michael Demento to the position of part-time emergency medical technician in the Voorhees Township Fire Department. Resolution number 183-23, appointing Haley Rose to the position of full-time emergency medical technician in the Voorhees Township Fire Department. Resolution number 184-23, accepting the retirement of Christopher Tomasco from the Voorhees Township Police Department. Resolution number 185-23, approving a developer's agreement between Voorhees Township and WMG Voorhees owner, LLC. Resolution number 186-23, accepting the resignation of Alina Tolman from the Voorhees Township Zoning Board and appointing Michael Phillips to fill the unexpired term. Resolution number 187, appointing Niha Jafari to the position of alternate number two on the Voorhees Township Zoning Board. Motion to approve resolutions. Motion. Then all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And those motions carry. Um, then we need an approval of our minutes from May 22nd, 2023, approval of tax collector's report for May 2023, and approval of the payment of bills for June 12th, 2023. Motion. Second. And then all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So carries. Um, and then we have comments from our committee this evening. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you to our police department and also for everything our fire department did at a very successful car show this weekend. Um, it was a great time to be there and another, you know, just way that you all get out into the community um, in a really meaningful way. We appreciate it. And also I wanted to say welcome to Alex. Really excited. Thanks for being here, by the way. Um, I'm telling you, we're usually much smoother than this. I <laughs> I'm going to blame Chris forever. Well, I don't, I don't mean it in a bad way. I can't make the motions. No, no, no. And apparently um, I can't read. Really it. welcome. Looking forward to working with you. Thank you. Okay. No, then we have, we have some uh, proclamations. Well, uh, other people might want to make comments. Okay, go ahead. You're in charge here. I know. I don't, I don't feel like it, though. <laughs> I just want to welcome you. We're very excited to have you. Thank you for um, joining our team. And we're, like I said, we're excited under the new um, 
the new leadership that's happening here. So we appreciate that, and we're excited to see our diversity committee tonight. So we wanted to thank all of you for being here. So good to see you guys. So uh, I'll turn it back over to you. To, to me. Okay. Uh, we have uh, a proclamation this evening recognizing the observance of Juneteenth. Um, so proclamation, whereas our country is made up of people from every nation on earth who are declared equal not only in freedom but also in justice, both of which are essential for a healthy human civilization. And whereas after the Union Army captured New Orleans in 1862, slave owners in Confederate states migrated to Texas with more than 150,000 enslaved black persons. For three years, even after President Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation, enslaved black Americans in Texas remained in brutal bondage, immorally and illegally deprived of their freedom and basic dignity. On June 19, 1865, over two years after President Lincoln declared all enslaved persons free, Major General Gordon Granger and Union Army troops marched to Galveston, Texas to enforce the Emancipation Proclamation and free the last enslaved black Americans in Texas. And whereas this month we commemorate Juneteenth to celebrate freedom, but also to reflect on the grievous and ongoing legacy of slavery and rededicate ourselves to rooting out systemic racism and strive to deliver the full promise of American freedom to every American. And whereas Juneteenth is a day to remember our extraordinary capacity to heal, to hope, and to emerge from our worst moments as a stronger, freer, and more just nation. It is also a day to celebrate the power and resilience of black Americans who have endured generations of oppression and to continue to work towards equal justice, equal dignity, equal rights, and equal opportunity. And now, therefore, the Mayor and Township Committee of the Township of Voorhees, County of Camden, and State of New Jersey proclaim June 19, 2023 as Juneteenth Day of Observance and celebrate the emancipation of black Americans and commit to eradicate systemic racism that still undermines our founding ideals and collective prosperity. Um, and on behalf of the Voorhees Cultural and Diversity Committee, uh, we have quite a few of our members here, uh, Ed Trueblood, Jennifer Stewart, Gwen DeVera, our, our chair, Stephanie Fisher, Dr. Grima Tarper, Jordan Hopchick, and did I see Lisa just come in? Hi, Lisa. Um, so happy to have you all here. Um, uh, Stephanie, our, our chair, Stephanie Fisher, has provided us with a statement on behalf of the committee um, regarding the observance of Juneteenth. The Voorhees Township Cultural and Diversity Committee proudly joins the Voorhees Township Committee and our Black American Committee members, neighbors, family, and friends in celebrating Juneteenth. As we approach the holiday marking the effective end to slavery on June 19, 1865, the VCDC continues its mission of celebrating all people and cultures and recommits to acknowledging and shining a light on this country's long-standing history of systemic racism, discrimination, and injustice while advocating for freedom, equality, opportunity, awareness, and inclusion for everyone. Yes, Deputy Mayor Michelle Nocito wanted to handle the next uh, proclamation. Thank you. Our next proclamation is um, the proclamation recognizing June as Pride Month, whereas the Township of Voorhees recognizes and proclaims the month of June 2023 as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, intersex, and asexual LGBTQ Pride Month throughout Voorhees and whereas over 50, for over 50 years, people around the world have come together to celebrate Pride Month, a month in which we recognize the beautiful diversity of LGBTQ communities while acknowledging that the movement to advance the human rights of LGBTQ persons <laughs> has been one of struggles and progress. And Whereas the Township Committee is proud to join other towns, counties, and states in observing Pride Month while honoring the history of the LGBTQI and liberation movement and observing Pride Month while honoring the history of the LGBTQI liberation movement and supporting the rights of all citizens to experience equality and freedom from discrimination and whereas Voorhees Township is committed to supporting visibility, dignity, and equality for LGBTQ people in our diverse community. And whereas celebrating Pride Month promotes awareness and provides support and advocacy for our LGBTQ community and is an opportunity to act and engage in dialogue to strengthen alliances, build acceptance, and advance equal rights. Now, therefore, the Township, of, the Township Committee of Voorhees Township hereby proclaims the month of June 2023 as Pride Month in support of the LGBTQ community. Um, and again, I'd like to read a statement from our Cultural and Diversity Committee. 
As we mark the start of Pride Month, the Voorhees Township Cultural and Diversity Committee recognizes and celebrates the vast contributions of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and intersex community and that hit what it has made on our committee, township, and world. VCDC proudly stands in solidarity with our LGBTQ plus community mem committee members, community members, neighbors, family, and friends, and celebrates the progress that the Pride Movement has made toward advancing equality and inclusion while combating and eradicating discrimination and injustice against LGBTQ plus individuals here in Voorhees and around the world. Happy Pride Month. And if it's okay, um, I'd, I'd like to have the original proclamations to be held by our um, diversity committee and present them to our chair, if that's okay. Thank you. Seeing no one move to close public portion. All in favor? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? And public portion is closed. And we are adjourned. Thank Later, you.